Hello everyone, in this video I'll be talking about conformational analysis of decalins and bridged compounds like edmontane or any other cycloalkanes which have bridged carbons. So this is a stereochemistry video and you will learn about cis-trans decalins and other stereochemical aspects of these bridged molecules. So conformation, the infinite number of arrangements of the atoms or groups of a molecule in three-dimensional space which are interconvertible into each other by a rotation about single bond are called conformations or rotational isomers or simply rotamers. These conformers have different internal dimensions, atom to atom distances, different dihedral angles, different dipole moments. The energy barrier for rotation of carbon-carbon single bonds conversion of different spatial arrangements is normally small, less than 0.6 kcal per mole and more than 16 kcal per mole. Conformation of bicyclic compounds, compounds with two or more rings fused together, like spirocyclic, two or more rings. Each pair of rings shares one common carbon. This is an spirocarbon, which is this one. So there are two rings. And there's one carbon which is connecting the two rings. So this is a spirocyclic. We call this compound is spiro 44 4.4 non end. So four carbons, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four carbons are on the right hand side and four carbons are on the left hand side. So that's why we're calling it 4.4. And it's a spirocyclic compound. That's why we're putting a spiro and there are total nine carbons. That's why we are saying it's non end. And then next class of uh, bicyclic compounds is bicyclic two rings that share two or more common atoms. For example, a bicyclic system can be further fused and bridged bicyclic. So this is a fused bicyclic. So again, there are two rings. That's why we are calling it bicyclo. And there is 4.4.0 dec decan or decalin. And one is bridged bicyclic compounds. So bridge head carbons. As you can see with the purple color, these are the bridge head carbon. So it's a bicyclo 2.2.1 heptane. Fused rings share two adjacent carbon atoms and the bond between them. These share two non-adjacent carbon atoms, the bridge head carbon and one or more carbon atoms between them. This is the conformation of decalin, decahydronephthalene. This is decalin bicyclo 4.4.0 decan, fused bicyclic system saturated analog of naphthalene and can be prepared from it by hydrogenation in a fused state in the presence of a catalyst. So this is naphthalene, you hydrogenate it and you make a tetraline and you further hydrogenate it and then you either prepare cis decaline or trans decaline. So these are the two types of uh, fused uh, conformations of decaline. One could be trans where we have a one uh, this hydrogen on the dotted line and the other hydrogen is on the wedge or bold and in whereas in cis both hydrogens are on the bold line. So Sachet Mohar proposed decalin is a puckered strain free two ring cycloalkane existed in two forms that could in that could interconvert only by breaking and reforming bonds. In 1925 Walter Huckel isolated the two postulated isomers of decalin. Cis decalin, which is this one, as you can see here, these are the bridge head carbons, and the trans decalin, these are the bridge carbons for the trans. As you can see, there are clearly different conformations for both of these compounds one is cis and trans. So, decalin is a hydrocarbon which has six membered uh, ring, rings like those of the cyclohexane and are expected to be most stable in the chair form. However, there are two possible ways in which two chair conformations of cyclohexane can be joined. This is cis decalin where two hydrogens are up on this side and this is a trans decalin where two cyclohexanes are parallel. So this one where the two hydrogens of decalin are on the bold line and where in this case one hydrogen is on the bold and other hydrogen is on the dotted line so that's the difference between the two uh, uh, conformations of uh, uh, cis and trans 
decalin uh, for this confirmations of these uh, uh, decalins one is cis and another is trans so let's move on to discuss in more depth the more examples of uh, uh, decalin so this is trans decalin is written in this form and this is cis decalin so each year is fused to the other by equatorial bonds having the angular hydrogens HA axial to both rings the hydrogens on the ring junction carbons are trans in this diastereomer Chair conformations the rings are fused by one axial and one equatorial bond and the overall structure is bent at the ring fusion C1 axial C6 equatorial the hydrogens on the ring junction carbons are cis to each other so trans decalin is conformationally locked framework no undergo ring inversion a chiral center of symmetry midpoint of the 9 to 10 bond c2 axis passing between c2 and c3 c9 and c10 and c6 and c7 cis whereas in cis, deca cis decalin cis isomer is achiral so trans isomer was uh, so cis isomer is chiral trans was achiral okay without chiral center and uh, two-fold a uh, rotational symmetry axis going through the center of one to six bond but no reflective symmetry however the chirality is cancelled through a rapid chair flipping process that turns the molecule into its mirror image hence that compound is not resolvable has a folded structure with a convex and a concave side so that the steric interactions are unequally distributed on the two sides so this is ring flipping ring inversion cis decalin each ring in cis decalin can undergo ring flip forming two different chair chair conformations of equal energy if you uh, uh, this is uh, 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 this is the confirmations of uh, transticolin and as you can see these are the confirmations cystecolin A ring and B ring so this one is the A for axial and E for equatorial and this is the numbering system and as you can see this one is the another rotamer of this form and this is the Newman projection for this one so sometimes students struggle to write the Newman projection of these systems and then you can see how you can write the Newman projection of these molecules. Each of the angular hydrogens is oriented axial to one of the rings and equatorial to the other. This relationship reverses when double ring flipping converts one cis conformer into the another. We have a trans decalin. Trans decalin is incapable of ring flipping because a ring flip of one ring would cause its two alkyl substituents, which comprise the second ring, to be too far apart to accommodate their second ring. So, this is the trans decalin, and we have axial equatorial ones, and this is a Newman projection for the trans decalin form. CH2 CH2 group is insufficiently long to bridge them. Trans decalin is said to be conformationally locked because it can't undergo a ring flip. As you can see, this in where the cis decalin was able to go to ring flip, but trans decalin is conformationally locked. It doesn't undergo ring flip. This conformation would essentially lead to breakage of the CC bond. Therefore, the ring flip will not occur, and trans decalin is locked in position. As you can see, this is cis 1 2 dimethyl cyclohexane because there is a one two relationship between two groups one is axial and one is equatorial and there's a ring flip around there so if we convert this one into bicyclic system you can do it but you can't do ring flip in the transform okay that's the point that we're making trans decalin is more stable than cis decalin by 2.7 kilocalorie per mole or 11.3 kJ per mole. Cis versus trans decalin. Trans decalin is more stable than cis decalin by 
3 times 0 0.07 is equal to 0.7 kilocalorie per mole are the interactions which are present in the cis decalin and which are absent in the trans decalin. Trans isomer is about 2.7 kilocalorie per mole more stable than the cis isomer largely because of relatively unfavorable non bonded interactions within the concave area of cis decalin. The small difference in entropies of the cis and trans isomers also suggest the more stability of trans decalin. No gauch unit exist in trans decalin as the two rings are joined together through E bonds. In cis decalin three gauch interactions exist as the two rings are joined together through E bonds. The difference in enthalpies is therefore equal to the three gauch interactions 10.05 experimental value 8.8 .8 and 14.2. So decalin units in steroids as you can see this is the angular methyls which are on the bold alpha face behind the page and beta face in front of the page and this is the beta face on top and this is alpha face and these are the angular methyls so fundamental framework of steroids is a tetracyclic carbon framework trans decalin style fused cyclohexane rings are the basis for steroids many have methyl groups at c10 and c13 so this is cholesterol and this is the chair conformation of the cholesterol and this is progesterone and this one is the chair conformation of the progesterone and this is again a cholesterol and this is the chair conformation of the cholesterol cholesterol then we have a bridged ring compounds in a bridged bicyclic compound two rings share two carbon atoms and these carbon atoms are not adjacent as you can see this is bicyclo 320 heptane and this is bicyclo 321 octane and these are the bridge heads norbornane camphor alpha pinene and this one carbon bridge two carbon bridge and two carbon bridge and this is bridge head and this is bridge head so heptane and butane bicyclo 111 pentane smallest bridge ring system bridging bridge head carbon are very close due to very small endocyclic valency angle 72.5 unstable and converts to 14 pentadiene on heating so as you can see endocyclic valency angle of this 111 pentane which upon heating converts into 14 pentadiene and these are the bicyclic 221 heptane norbornane system as you can see this is the a structure of norbornane and c which which also forms enol form in this one and we this is their Newman interaction so C1 and C4 are joined by methylene bridged to give both conformation system is strained because of the two eclipsed butane units is in both out of the six hydrogens at C2 C3 C5 6s H A and H port cutter orientation H B and H B port axial orientation so this is octane C1 and C4 are joined by ethylene bridge in its idealized form the system has all the adjacent positions eclipsed and this one is other bridge systems this is heptane and again it's a habicycloheptane octane nonane both chair conformation both port conformation and last one are propellines propellants and edmontane when the two bridged head atoms are joined by a single bond a tricyclic system is formed where the three rings share two bridge head atoms these are called propellants a tricyclic compound may be found by four bridge head carbon atoms as in case of edmontane this one is edmontane and this was the conformational analysis of mainly cis and trans decaline and then we discussed other systems like other bridge head carbons norborne and borne and came for and edmontane and propellants as well and thank you to all uh, thank you you guys for watching and please subscribe it and have a good day bye